Hello loves, welcome to weekly vlog 40. It's actually like 10 to 8 at night. I haven't vlogged at all today. I've been at work, as you can tell from the work attire. It actually went really quick. It was a good day. It's been a good few days actually at work, which is nice. It makes the change. But I came home to a parcel today. I ordered a jumpsuit. I saw it on Instagram. I can't remember who was wearing it though. I'll try and find out so I can let you know because I do really love her Instagram. But I ordered, I thought it was a dress when... Like I saw the picture of it, but it's actually a play suit and it's absolutely adorable. Look at this. Look how pretty that embroidery is. And it's really, really soft material as well. And it's got little sleeves, little sleeves. And it's lined and it's little shorts underneath. So cute. I haven't tried it on yet. I need to try it on. So I'll show you once I've put it on. But it's so pretty. And then the back is cut out. Oh, so excited for some warm weather so I can wear that. I feel like I need to be on holiday to wear it, but I'm sure there'll be at least one day in the year that is warm enough here for me to wear that. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm going to try it on. Oh my goodness, this thing is absolutely adorable. I love it. Please excuse the state of my legs right now, they're horrendous. But it's so cute and then it's got a little cut out back. I need to get um, like a backless bra or something that's slightly more pretty than that. <laughs> but oh my goodness, it's so cute and it's short. Yay! I am going to live in this. Uh, it's from Zara by the way and it was £29.99 so it's like pretty much £30. Oh my goodness, they do it in black as well with like longer sleeves and I was very tempted. It's so cute. I'm thinking this dress with some like gladiator sandals, like like calf high gladiator sandals. That would be cute. <gasps> Yay, a nice bruise on my knee. I'm covered in bruises at the minute. Walking into things all the time. I've become quite clumsy in my, I was going to say old age, but it's not really old age, is it? But I've become quite clumsy recently. I keep kicking things and walking into things and giving myself bruises, which is not fun. But I'm so in love with this dress. Jumpsuit, it's not even a dress, it's a jumpsuit. It's a brunch kind of day today. I'm going for brunch with a friend, which would be nice. We're going to Bill's. I haven't actually ever had brunch at Bill's. I've had like dinner and stuff, like I've gone out for dinner there, but I've never had brunch. So I'm very excited. I'm really craving eggs royale. Um, so that's obviously what I'm gonna have. Also, I've had like a mini breakout. Mm. Not loving it. And I've got my uh, Diorosaurus top on, which I haven't worn, like, for a very long time. Just tucked in. Because this is actually a size 16, <laughs> this t-shirt. Because I really liked it, but they didn't have it in my size. So I was like, meh, I'll just get it. It can be oversized. So I've just tucked it in at the front. And um, I'm not sure what jacket I'm going to wear. I'm thinking my leather jacket is probably the best bet with this. I think it will look cute. And some shoesies. We can't decide whether to wear my heeled boots or my Converse. Probably heeled boots because who I'm going for brunch with, she always like looks really good. I'm like, I need to make some sort of effort. I've got an email. Outfit, big Zara coat, Topshop scarf, and then I've just got my vintage navy blue cardigan on to keep me warm in the restaurant. Oh, and my boots. Primark boots. Best like 10 pounds ever spent. Brunch was so good. I feel like I just vlog in the same spot like all the time, but I have no life right now. Um, brunch was really good. I didn't vlog anything because we had a lot to catch up on. I haven't seen her for like a good like month, month and a half. So since everything has happened, I haven't seen her. So we had a lot to catch up on. And now I've decided that I want a bit of a room move around. So I'm thinking of moving this to that side and have my mirror this side. I don't know though because obviously I've got this and you, then you're going to be able to see that and it's just going to annoy me but yeah I can't decide but I want to have a little move around but I'm going to have a tidy up first and I'm going to watch Dream Girls as well because fancy a little like don't know <laughs> I just really like the film so I'm going to watch it it's finished I look a state message it's done look I quite like it although I don't know if it just looks a bit cluttered I don't know. I like this area though, like with the mirror, there's loads of room for like outfit pictures and stuff. Loads of room. I like it. Not that I take outfit pictures, but yeah, whatever. 
Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. I like it. Ooh, suddenly become really popular. This never happens. I don't have friends that message me. <laughs> anyway, read the messages and replied. <laughs> I actually was thinking here about maybe putting the mirror like on the wall, which we try to do here, which is why there's holes in the wall, which is quite annoying and it bugs me. Also, I don't know why there's like a weird dirty mark there because nothing's ever been there. But anyway, thinking about getting like a chair, maybe a bucket chair or something to put in that corner. I think that would look cute. I feel like it would. And I really want some new curtains. Like I want some long ones that go all the way to the floor and like drape on the floor. That's my plan. In fact, that was my plan when we first moved in here. I wanted to do that, like with the big curtains and stuff. And then I just never got around to it. And then obviously I was looking at moving out, so it didn't bother. But then that's all changed. So now I'm like, I want to tweak my room and kind of change it up, make it a bit more me now and stuff. I want to get some new bedding. I want to make it a bit like boho. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. But it's where I've got the funds to do that. That is the thing. <laughs> Gam and egg chips and beans is definitely one of my all time guilty pleasures and like favourite meals. Um, and how satisfying does that egg look? Is that just me? I find that really satisfying egg. Is that a weird thing to say? Probably. Um, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to catch up on some weekly vlogs. It's a blooming Tuesday miracle. I had time to... Oh, it's raining. Lovely. Um, I had time to make my lunch and eat breakfast this morning before leaving the house and I just need to defer my butt because I made the rookie mistake of getting dressed and then sitting down on my bed. Oh, these things are so annoying. I'm covered in cat fur and I have to wear black to work so it like shows up. Oh my goodness, is this now broken? Brilliant. Today for me is every retail worker's nightmare. The next two days are gonna be kind of crazy because we have stock take at work tomorrow. So today is a day of making sure everything is right, counting stuff, finalising stuff, going through folders. It's going to be a great day. I can't wait for it to end. I popped out of my lunch today to get some stuff and picked up a bueno. Yes, by the time I got home, got home? Ha! <laughs> no. By the time I got back to work, it was too late for me to eat it because there was a person in front of me buying a lottery ticket and he wanted to do his lottery ticket there and then and he wouldn't move out of the way. It was really annoying. I was like, move. All I want to buy is a bueno and a bottle of water. Like, get out of my way. But he did not move. So I ran out of time to eat it, so I'm going to enjoy this on my drive home from work right now. And then I've got jacket potato when I get in, which is one of my favourite dinners. I love jacket potato. If you've watched my vlogs before, you'll know what I have on my jacket potato too. Um, I all went up, uh, 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 the reason I went out was to go to Boots because I needed to get some more powder but I picked up this one doing a little car haul here aren't I before my camera dies um, I went to get like my normal stay mat one and then they I saw this and I find the translucent normal one this is making sense the translucent normal one still has colour in it and it kind of changes the colour of my foundation which is really annoying because being pasty like myself it's really hard to find like a foundation that works. So I've picked up this. It's still translucent, but it's in a white and it says Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. So I thought I'd give this a go and see what this is like because why not? It was 4 99 and it was new, so it's only like a pound more than I was gonna pay anyway. But we'll see, we'll see what this is like. And I also went to the NYX Stand because I can't resist NYX. I have to go and have a look at NYX. And I picked up one of their butter glosses, like their intense butter glosses. I've got it on now. I really like it, although it looked kind of odd because I think I'm getting a spot like next to my lip, which is really annoying. The only thing I will say is the colours are really nice and everything, and they smell amazing. Like, go and smell their um, butter glosses. Mm hmm. It smells like sweets. It smells like squashies. That's what it smells like. And now I really want some squashies. It's been a while since I've had some squashies. I need to get some squashies. Anyway, let's stop saying squashy. But it's quite sticky. And I don't... I put it on at work and it didn't last very long. But I don't know if it's just because, like, I was drinking my bottle of water. And I probably rubbed it off. <laughs> but I do really like the colour. It's very pretty. I haven't worn, like, lip products and stuff for a really long time. I don't know why. I just went through a phase where I just stopped wearing them. I used to live in them. Like, last summer I would have, like, a bright lip all the time. And then I just stopped wearing them. And I think I want to get back into my lipsticks again because I've got such a collection of them and I need to wear them because they're not cheap lipsticks that I've got. So 
should probably make use out of them. But myself and my little spot here on the end of my nose, little Rudolph, are going to go home and eat my bueno on my way home. I'm so excited to this, you have no idea. Like, I've been looking forward to this ever since my lunch. I've spent my evening looking at ear piercings because I've been wanting to and thinking about get, getting some more piercings for like a while and I feel like I'm now like I just need to do it I just need to get some more piercings so what I want is like my second hole in my lobes on both sides and then I want one up here my ears really red I don't know why my ears red I want one up here like a little heart I've got a picture I've got a picture hold on I really want this. I really want something like that. My manager has just got this done and it looks really, really nice. But I'm definitely like two chickens to get that done. But I really like that. I think that's really, really pretty. Don't you think? Don't you think? I think it is. And I'm thinking of dyeing my hair this colour. There we go. This colour. Because... Because my hair started to go kind of gingery. It doesn't really look in this light, but it really is. Um, to the point where, like, the delivery guy walked into work and he was like, have you dyed your hair ginger? I was like, no, I have not. It's just going ginger. And, like, even using, like, a toner on it now isn't helping at all. So I really need to go get it sorted. Also, my roots are coming through, so that needs to be sorted. Because it probably doesn't, but it feels like, because of the colour of my hair right now, it feels like... It looks like I'm going grey. <laughs> Although I look great right now. Oh, fabulous. There we go. Are you going to stay focused? No? Okay, you're going to go back out of focus. Wow, I don't really know what's going on with my camera right now. What are you doing? What's you doing? Oh, oh, is it because of the light? Should I put the main light? You're really struggling. Okay. Does this help the situation? Yes, it does. Okay, everybody, this camera struggles to focus in crap lighting. But yeah, that's literally how I've spent my evening, is looking at ear piercings and what I want to get done. I was gonna go, we were talking about having like a girl's day out and to go get piercings, because some of the other girls at work want some piercings as well. And we were gonna go to Liberty in London and go get it done there. And then we actually looked at it and like the earrings start at like a hundred and something pounds. I'm like, mm, no, because the one that I want, I want like a diamond ring um, in like my lobes. They're like four or five hundred pounds. I'm like, probably, probably shouldn't do that. So I think we're going to go to Tattoo Crazy in Cambridge, unless anyone local to Cambridge knows anywhere better to go. Um, but that's where a lot of my friends have got their piercings done and stuff So I think we're probably gonna end up going there and just having like a proper girly day and go get our ears pierced <laughs> Also, I probably w wouldn't do it if I was on my own. Wow now I've been talking to you for four minutes mm. Also, I don't think I'm gonna do a workout tonight I'm not feeling it. I may change my mind in a bit, but it's now nine o'clock And I haven't done it yet, and I've normally started it by now And I haven't so I might just have an early night, take my makeup off and get into bed instead in preparation for tomorrow. Today wasn't that stressful actually, it was all right. And also we started everything. Um, so tomorrow's not gonna be that hard. It's gonna be like quite a nice day. So don't know what else to, don't really know what else to say to you. So I'm just gonna go. Okay, bye. It's D-Day at work. Wish me luck at stock take. Fingers crossed for a zero one. Also I've reached the conclusion that I do not like that lip gloss from NARS. It's too sticky. I don't like it. No, I do not. <laughs> After a successful stock take, we got 0%. Woohoo! Three years in a row now, 0% stock take. That's a really good thing, which you'll know if you work or have worked in retail. Um, ever since then, though, I've been craving ice cream. So I've come to Asda to get some ice cream. And I'm also going to buy some salad bits because... I feel like I need to counterbalance the like chocolate fudge brownie Ben and Jerry's ice cream I'm about to buy with a salad. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna get right now. Oh, I had like a light beard. Ooh. <laughs> Who wants a little shopping haul from my cupboard? You do. <laughs> I got lettuce and spinach. I really like spinach. Ooh, 
breaking things. I really like spinach in my salads. Don't know why, but I do. Cucumber. And I've got some sweet chili chicken and some chicken tikka, which is what I normally go for. But then I saw the sweet chili one, I was like, I'm gonna try that. Then I've got, I'm baking again on Friday, so I've got some butter, dime bars, cookie, uh, chocolate rather, dairy milk, and some milky bar, because I'm making cookies again for up north, because they haven't actually had my cookies yet, and they always say they want some, and then I've got myself chocolate fudge brownie. I'm so excited to eat this. What's going on with my hair right now? Let's put this in the fridge so it's ready for me. It's not going to fit in the fridge. Fit in the fridge somewhere. Freezer, whatever you want. It's in. It's in. It's in. Have you ever been in a really good mood? All day, like really good mood. And then as soon as you're on your own, it just like literally does like a 180 and you're in the complete opposite mood and you're in a really bad mood within like a few minutes. Because that is what has happened to me. And I've just eaten ice cream and normally ice cream makes me happy, but it's not really not tonight. So I'm gonna do a workout and try and get some happy endorphins sort of flowing through my body. Because I'm in such a bad mood. For no reason, like there is no reason for me to be in a bad mood. But I'm in a really bad mood. I just painted my nail because this one came off, so I had to redo it. I need a wee, but I really can't afford to go. <laughs> Let's go bend some fat. <laughs> one shift to go, and then I've got four days off, and you have no idea how excited I am to have these four days off. They're so needed, and I really need to just kind of get away. And I'm really excited to go and see my family and meet Dexter, who is my aunt's new cavachon. A cavachon? I think it's a cavachon. It's freaking cute, that's all I can say, and I will try and vlog him because he's adorable. And it's such a nice day today. And it just makes you realise, or me realise anyway, how much my mood is affected by the weather. Like if the weather's horrible, I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> but if the weather is sunny, it puts me in a really, really good mood. And it's beautiful today, like blue skies, sunshine. It's beautiful. Also, can I just say, there is a black mark that keeps coming up on my pictures. I think it's like a mark on the lens, but I can't get rid of it. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I can't work out what it is, and it's really annoying me. So, if anyone has any advice or knows what it is, I don't know if it's like a scratch or something on the lens, which would be really annoying if it is. But yeah, if anyone knows like anything about camera lenses and if marks come up, I mean, you just saw it in that clip. So, yeah, I need to put something on my lips. Got my denim jacket out, haven't I? I love this jacket so much. It's like warm, but you don't need to wear a scarf. So it's perfect for like this sort of weather. And I've got my little summer shoes. Summer shoes. Also, my skin is horrendous, so my makeup keeps looking really bad. I need to do like some sort of skin treatment thing. I don't know, I've been trying to use face masks, but nothing has really been helping. So I also need to wash my brushes. That makes a massive difference to my makeup. Like badly need to wash those tonight. I'm not even joking. The girl behind me on my drive here literally did her full face of makeup on her drive into Cambridge. What? Like how do you even do that? And how does it look good? Like, I don't even know if it looked good because obviously I can't see her. But what? No. Like I struggle to sneeze and drive, let alone do my makeup and drive. Wow. Wow. Also, not safe people. The lighting in this office is literally the most unflattering thing in history. Also, I probably scratched my neck, I don't know how. But, just eating my salad, and then we went to Starbucks this morning, um, and I got the new cappuccino freddo, um, which is really good. I got a decaf, and I got it with caramel syrup in, so extra caramel. I feel like I have my lunch in my mouth. Um, it's really good, highly recommend. Wouldn't have it a lot, because it's really sweet, but still really good but I also picked up one of their lemon loaves which is so good so I just need to pop out to the card shop because I've got a few birthdays to buy cards for this month and then I'm gonna sit and eat that I'm pretty excited to eat that and because I have my salad I don't feel bad because like, I've been healthy and then you've got to have a balanced diet so then I'm gonna have my sweet thing yeah go 
Good morning. I don't know if you can hear Chris's music in the background. Hopefully not. He's got it pretty loud. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday. Well, that's a lie. I did vlog yesterday. I tried to vlog in the car and didn't go too well. This lighting is crap. It didn't go too well, uh, so I haven't put that footage in. And then I didn't vlog anything when I was out. I had such a busy day yesterday. So in the morning I was, I don't know what's happened to my mascara. In the morning I was baking cookies because obviously I'm going away today and they never had my cookies up north and well, that can't happen. So I baked some more cookies for them. And then I went out for a late lunch with Zoe. We went to the Red Lion in Grandchester. It's really, really nice there. Like, I can't believe I've never been out for lunch there before, or like dinner. Like, not. Oh no, my nail is coming off. Um, not just the Red Lion, but like Grandchester in general. Like, it's really, really cute there. And then me and Zoe spent the day together, and she had a little event in the evening with a brand called Stella and Dot. I don't know if any of you have heard of them. They are a social networking brand, as far as I'm aware. Um, and I brought some sunglasses because I was I need some new sunglasses anyway, and I've decided that I want to like get some sunglasses because it's just my thing. I like them, but I found it really hard to find them because I've got such a pea head. I put these ones on yesterday, and literally everyone was like. They really suit you, they look really good, so I can't, I was like, I kind of can't not get them, so I've got them, but you have to, obviously I have to order them, so they're not here yet, so I can't show you, but as soon as I've got them, I will show you them, and yeah, and then I got here to Chris's at like 11, half 11-ish I think, and then sat and edited the weekly vlog up until now, so that I don't have to do it while I'm away, and I can literally just add in like today, <coughs> tonight. Because I don't want to go up and see my family and then be like, yeah, by the way, I'm just going to go edit. Um, I need to upload the vlog. <laughs> so I did that last night. I went to bed at like one, I think. So yeah, it's safe to say I'm pretty tired this morning, but I'm not driving up. Chris is, so that's fine. I can have a little snooze in the car. I'm double den den deniming today, though. Rocking the double denim. Don't know how I feel about it. It makes me nervous, but then I'm like, just go for it. Just don't care, just go. But yeah, I think we're about to leave. And then it's time for a three and a half hour drive. We're about three hours into our journey. So we've got like half hour, 45 minutes left, depending on traffic. I love long car journeys. Like it's one of my favorite things ever. And I could literally do them all the time. I like to drive them myself as well, but being a passenger is obviously much better, especially in this car, so it's so comfy. We've stopped for our second wee break for Chris. I haven't needed to pee. Everybody meet Dexter. Hello, Dexter. Hello. What's that? What is it? Oh, and this is Ruby. Scared of the camera. You scared of the camera? just barked at the camera. That's me. He's trying to chew your hair. No, don't chew my hair. <laughs> Are you scared of the camera? What is, it? what is it? That's me. He's a licker. Please don't eat me. Poor Ruby. It's going for your cough. Can I? It's obsessed. Obsessed! He actually looks really big on the camera. I'm just waiting to get licked. No, I haven't yet. You can lick? Oh, you're coming up. Kisses! You're so small and so cute. Yes, you are. But you need a tic tac. Yes, you do. You want a tic tac? No. Oh. Oh. That's a thumb. That's not for chewing. Not for biting. You've reached the end of the vlog. Woohoo! I don't know what else to say. I hate ending like videos. Bye. I'm really bad at ending videos. I just say bye. Bye. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. What? I, this is really awkward doing it with you in the car. I don't really? know why. This is really weird. You, sorry. My bad. You is don't it? have to feel awkward. It's only me. <laughs> I don't feel
even, I don't know why, I just don't know what to say, it's really weird. But it's bizarre, because anyone else, I don't know why for what could review. Thank you very much for watching guys. Do make sure to drop the video a like <laughs> if you enjoy. Subscribe to the Polly Pocket channel if you haven't already. Weekly vlogs every single Sunday from uh, Cara's life. Sometimes I feature, sometimes I don't. Uh, if Cara's kind, she'll link my channel in the description. <laughs> if you like FIFA videos, then come across and check my channel out. But Little plug there. Uh, well, you got it, haven't you? You got to plug yourself when you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going this way. And uh, yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. We're up north currently visiting family, of course. And then next week's vlog will start tomorrow. Quick, one, it's going to die. So, oh no, we're going to die. All right, thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>